1988, General Zia introduced a system of caretaker governments, but later violated its principles by dissolving the National Assembly and removing Prime Minister Muhammad Khan Junejo. He manipulated his powers under Article 58 2B of the Constitution, forming a caretaker cabinet under his leadership instead of appointing a neutral caretaker Prime Minister. Following Zia's death in a plane in August 1988, Senate Chairman Ghulam Ishaq Khan became the acting president as per the constitutional process, and he also retained Zia's caretaker cabinet. The initial caretaker government faced constitutionality issues due to the absence of a caretaker prime minister from May to December 1988. The Supreme Court deemed this unconstitutional in the Haji Saifullah case, stressing the need for elections and a fresh mandate. Ghulam Mustafa Jatoi became Pakistan's first caretaker prime minister. appointed by president ghulam ishaq khan after dissolving the national assembly and removing prime minister benazir bhutto over corruption charges in august 1990 interim prime minister balagh sher mazari was appointed by president ghulam ishaq khan after dissolving the national assembly and dismissing prime minister nawaz sharif government on april 18 1993 Mazari led an anti-Nawaz faction within the Pakistan Muslim League. Surprisingly, most ministers were from the PPP, including Asif Ali Zardari. Conflict between Nawaz Sharif and Ghulam Ishaq Khan led to a forced resignation brokered by the army in what's called a soft coup. Moin Qureshi, an outsider and senior World Bank official, became the fourth caretaker prime minister. His neutrality was meant to ensure fair elections, but the military heavily oversaw the process with army officers at polling stations. Malik Mehraj Khalid led the fifth caretaker government as prime minister after President Farooq Lagari dismissed Benazir's government over corruption charges in November 1996. Despite his political background, Khalid's appointment was seen as biased against PPP. President General Retired Pervez Musharraf appointed Mohammad Mia Sumro as caretaker prime minister for overseeing the January 2008 elections. Benazir's assassination and political turmoil led to election postponement to February 2008. The PPP and PMLN won and Sumro handed over power to Yusuf Raza Gilani. Mir Hazar Khan Hoso was appointed by the Election Commission of Pakistan as the caretaker prime minister in March 2013 when the National Assembly's term ended. As a neutral retired judge, he formed a technocratic cabinet and oversaw the May 2013 elections. Justice Nasirul Mulk led Pakistan's eighth caretaker government after consensus between the PM and opposition. The 2018 elections held under the Election Act 2017 raised concerns about military involvement and interference.